Hi, little explorers. Today, we're going on a magical adventure to the stunning islands of Antigua and Barbuda. Explore dreamy paradise beaches with blue water and meet playful sea creatures like green sea turtles and colorful fish. Move to the beat of steel drums and make your heart dance with happiness. It's round the world with Mia and Benny. Let the fun begin. First things first, let's take a look at our map. See these two little gems in the Caribbean? That's Antigua and Barbuda. These two islands don't share any foreign land borders, but the closest friends are Montserrat, a British overseas territory, and St. Kitts and Nevis. They're like friendly neighbors who throw beach parties and share laughter under the tropical sun. They're just a jump away across the sparkling blue sea. Over 93,000 people call these enchanting islands home. Let's talk about St. John's, the wonderful capital of Antigua and Barbuda. The houses in St. John's are so colorful, like a rainbow. Can you spot the red, yellow, and green houses? It's like a colorful playground where people live and have lots of fun. St. John's has also a special spot where boats come to say hello. It's a place where the sunshine and the sea breeze meet to make everything feel warm and cozy. Imagine big, beautiful boats with white sails, gently rocking in the sparkling blue water. It's like a dance of the sea. The national animal of Antigua and Barbuda is the European fallow deer. You might be wondering, wait, why are there European deer in the Caribbean? Well, it's a bit of a funny story. Way back in the 18th century, a family named the Codringtons thought it would be fun to bring these graceful deer from Europe to the sunny shores of Antigua and Barbuda. Since then, these European fallow deer have not only stuck around, but have thrived on the islands. And here's the coolest part, you won't find them anywhere else in the entire Caribbean. It's like they have their own exclusive island club. And look! Here's a cute little green sea turtle. They love swimming in the warm, blue waters around the islands. These amazing turtles have a special shell that helps protect them, and it's called a carapace. They are great travelers and can journey thousands of miles across the ocean to find the perfect nesting spot. You can help protect the green sea turtles by keeping our oceans clean and safe for all sea creatures to enjoy. But wait, there's more. And there's a pink beautiful bird called the roseate spoonbill. Can you spot the roseate spoonbill with long spoon-shaped bills that they use to scoop up tasty treats from the water like shrimp and small fish? They have beautiful pink feathers that look like cotton candy in the sky. Roseate spoonbills live in marshy areas and can be found wading gracefully in shallow waters with their pink wings spread wide. These friendly birds often hang out in groups, and you might see them flying in a V-shaped formation across the blue sky. And meet the killer whale, also known as an orca, an amazing and powerful sea creature. With its distinct black and white coloring, it looks like a giant panda of the ocean. Orcas are not only the largest dolphins, but also the top predators in the sea. They love to swim and play in groups called pods, and they're excellent communicators using clicks, whistles, and even body language. Despite their name, killer whales are usually not dangerous to humans and are super smart and friendly animals that captivate us with their incredible beauty and intelligence. Do you remember, what's the name of the capital of Antigua and Barbuda? You're right, it's St. John's and it has many colorful houses. Antigua and Barbuda are two amazing islands with beautiful beaches with soft sand and clear blue waters, perfect for building sand castles and splashing around. Imagine magical beaches with tall palm trees, where you can watch the sky paint itself in vibrant colors during breathtaking sunsets. 
But don't forget to explore the magical underwater world. The coral reefs are like an underwater city filled with colorful fish and plants. Antigua and Barbuda are like a nature wonderland, where every day is an adventure surrounded by tropical sunshine and natural beauty. Can you remember what's the national animal of Antigua and Barbuda? It's the European fallow deer. Time to learn about the culture of these amazing islands. Antigua and Barbuda have a rich history with African, British, and Caribbean influences. People here love to dance to the rhythm of the steel drums and celebrate life with colorful festivals. The friendly and welcoming nature of the people of Antigua and Barbuda makes it a special place where kids grow up surrounded by a sense of community and tradition. English is the official language, just like the stories we read and the words we learn in school. But the Antiguan Creole is the native language of nearly all Antiguans. Little explorer, can you help us finding our little friend Milo the Hedgehog? He's somewhere out there. Look at this incredible place in Antigua. It's called Nelson's Dockyard, named after a famous admiral. Ships used to stop here to get repaired. Now, it's like a time machine that takes us back to the past. Can you imagine being a sailor here? But as a fascinating natural wonder, you can't miss the Devil's Bridge. It's a unique rock formation created by the powerful waves of the Atlantic Ocean, and legend has it that the Devil himself once stood there. The historic St. John's Cathedral in Antigua is another must-see landmark. Marvel at the impressive architecture and learn about the island's rich cultural and religious history. Barbuda has its own special landmark called the Fritty Bird Sanctuary, where you can observe these magnificent birds in their natural habitat. It's a great way to learn about wildlife conservation. Now, let's talk about the yummy food in Antigua and Barbuda. The tastiest treasure from the sea is the conch, a delightful meat found inside the beautiful shell of a large Caribbean sea snail. It's prepared from crispy conch fritters to smoky grilled dishes and refreshing conch salads. There's also a special round flatbread called roti that's loved by everyone. You can use roti to make a yummy sandwich filled with delicious meats like chicken, beef, seafood, or pork, all together with veggies in a curry sauce for an extra burst of flavor. And we can't leave Antigua without fungi, a cornmeal made out of okra, and it loves to hang out with saltfish or pepper pot stew. When you pair fungi with saltfish, you get one of the tastiest and most popular meals on the island, a delicious duo that's sure to make you smile. Some of the best things to see in Antigua and Barbuda are Nelson's Dockyard, the Devil's Bridge, and the Frigate Bird Sanctuary. Last but not least, let's talk about the flag of Antigua and Barbuda. Look at these vibrant colors, red, blue, white, black, and yellow. The black on this flag is holding the amazing stories of African ancestors. The blue is filled with hope, and the red is like a burst of energy, giving life to the people. The flag's colors also dance to the beat of nature, black for the soil, yellow for the sun, blue for the sea, and white for the sandy beaches. It's like a rainbow that tells tales of victory and adventures in the Caribbean Sea. Wow, explorers! Our adventure in Antigua and Barbuda was a blast. We discovered the cool capital, St. John's, played in the soft sandy beaches, swam in the sparkling turquoise water, met colorful sea creatures, explored awesome landmarks, tasted yummy local food, and even waved hello to the vibrant national flag. But do you remember what animals live in Antigua and Barbuda? You're right. There are deers, sea turtles, roseate spoonbills, and orcas. Did you find our friend Milo the Hedgehog? He was in the frigate bird sanctuary, admiring all the beautiful birds. 
I hope you enjoyed our adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a new episode of Around the World with Mia and Benny. Until next time, happy exploring!